So let's do some practice reading calipers. Um, they're one of the more difficult instruments to uh, measure distances with. But to give you an idea of what they're used for, if you think about a 30 centimeter ruler, right, you've got the centimeter ticks, and then in between that you've got 10 millimeter ticks. Well, there's not 10 of them, I need 10 of these things here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I guess there's only nine. And then the tenth one is the next whole centimeter. All right, and when you measure stuff, you can measure things to the nearest millimeter pretty easily. Right, so if I wrote a measurement in centimeters, that was like here, that would be one point, let's see, one, two, three, four, five centimeters, right? But that's as precise as I go. Would it be possible to measure to one more place value, right? Get a, a little more precise measurements. Could I maybe get a measurement in between these two ticks and know what that value was? Well, that's essentially what a caliper does. Um, so with an SI caliper, uh, what we do is we have two different scales that we read our measurements from. Uh, we have something called a fixed scale, which is, it basically looks like a ruler. I'll draw a little diagram here. So you have like the fixed scale, and it looks like your standard ruler. Um, so you have the, the centimeter ticks, and then you have the millimeter ticks in between. And then you have another scale called the moving scale, which goes from zero to uh, one. Okay, and then there's, I guess that'd be zero to 10. And then it has some ticks in between as well. And you take three readings off of this uh, caliper reading. Uh, the first two always come from the fixed scale. And the first reading that you take is the whole number of centimeters in your measurement. The second reading that you take is the tenths or the millimeters. And then the last reading that you take is the one that you can't get from the 30 centimeter ruler. You have to take it from the moving scale. So that's what this uh, diagram here shows, right? We're going to take three readings. The first one, the first two are going to come from the fixed scale. The third one is going to come from the moving scale. So let's take a look at what that or how that works. Okay, so here's a diagram of a caliper reading, uh, a, like a zoomed-in version of uh, the caliper itself. Usually there's more ruler than just this, right? The rulers don't start at three, they start at zero, so they've just kind of cut off the first part of the ruler. And uh, here's how you take this reading. Uh, we want to look at where this line right here, this line at the zero on the moving scale, we want to look at where it falls on the fixed scale to get our first two readings. Okay, so I'll set up some blanks here. That'll be our first reading, decimal, second reading, third reading. So, how many whole centimeters is the object that's being measured? Well, you can see that this line falls after the third centimeter, right? So I have three whole centimeters in my measurement so far. All right. Let's look at millimeters now. You can see that this line again falls after the third millimeter. So that's the next portion of my reading. And you can tell, right, you can tell that this line is in between these millimeter marks, right? It looks like it's, I don't know, maybe 40% of the way. It's not quite halfway. So that should give you some suspicion as to the fact that there may be more than just 3.3 centimeters in this reading. Not much more, but clearly there's a little bit more than 3.3. So the way we get the last reading is we look at the moving scale here. Remember that's where the last reading comes from. And we look along the moving scale to see where a line from the moving scale and a line from the fixed scale perfectly match up the first time. So let's, let's compare these lines. Uh, this line here doesn't match with anything up top, so we just ignore that. This line here doesn't match with anything up top, so we ignore that. This one still doesn't match. This one, it's getting closer, but it's still not quite there. This tick, however, does perfectly match uh, a line above on the fixed scale. So that's how we take our last reading. This is number four, or four tenths of a millimeter. And that's our last uh, place value that we put in our reading. So that's 3.34 centimeters.